Hello everyone, and today we're going to be making a Roblox Studio data store that will save currency in your Roblox game. All we're going to do is open a script, remove the print hello, and we can do the variables here. So now that we've done that, we can do a data store service, and that's going to be to get the actual data store data store service alright cool now that we've done that we need to do a leader stats name equals leader stats now that we've done that we can do local wallet data store equals data store service get data store service All right this is going to be your data store name so I'm going to do this just so you know um, changing data store name will reset all player data All right, now that we've done that we can do a local bank data store equals data store service get get data store this will be your bank Bank data store dot v2. Right now that we've done that, we can do a changing data store name will reset all player data. Now that we've done that, we can get onto our main section of the file. This is going to be game dot players dot player. Player added, let's connect, function, that's going to be a function, uh, and then we're going to have player, and now that we've done that we can do local folder e equals instance, but we need a space between instance and that, uh, local e instance.new and then we're going to have folder now that we've got that we can do folder.name equals lead, leader stats name folder dot, folder dot parent equals player now that we've done that now we can get on to with the local wallet data equals instance dot new int value and then wallet data dot name equals wallet data wallet data dot parent equals folder then wallet data dot value equals wallet data store get async player dot user id now that we've done that we can do local bank data equals instance dot new int value bank data bank data dot name equals bank data uh, bank data dot parent equals folder and bank data dot value equals Bank data store dot get no nope. get async uh, player dot user id and that's the end of that section. This is to save the data. This is going to be game dot players dot 
player removing. Connect function player. And this is going to be a wallet data store dot set async player dot user ID player wait for child leader stats name dot wallet data dot value now that we've got that this is going to be bank data store dot set async player dot user id player wait for child that's going to be a leader stats name dot bank bank data dot value right cool we've got both values got everything in remember to have https uh, and api access on in your game setting now if i press play we should not have any issues with the script and if we go into players to check the data store once i have loaded it in we can open this as you can see leader stats bank data and wallet data these are both here in our player section that means we have successfully scripted a currency system and a saving data system thank you for watching and goodbye